Ridley Scott's highly anticipated film, Napoleon, is gearing up for its streaming debut on Apple TV+, Plus, with the release date officially set for March 1. This historical epic, chronicling the life and career of French military leader Napoleon Bonaparte, stars Joaquin Phoenix in the titular role alongside Vanessa Kirby as his lover, Josephine. Despite its mixed reviews upon its theatrical release in November and a lackluster box office performance, the film is poised to captivate a broader audience through its streaming release. In this article, we delve into the reception of Napoleon in theatres, exploring why Ridley Scott's latest movie has stirred both praise and criticism. Ridley Scott, known for his mastery in historical epics, returns to the genre with Napoleon following his 2021 medieval-set film, The Last Duke. The film shares a grand-scale reminiscent of Scott's 2000 hit, Gladiator. However, unlike the unanimous acclaim received by Gladiator, Napoleon faced divisive opinions from critics. The film, with a runtime of 2 hours and 38 minutes, presents a comprehensive look into Napoleon Bonaparte's life and military exploits, while the epic battle sequences, particularly the chilling Battle of Austerlitz, garnered praise. Critics pointed out shortcomings in the portrayal of Napoleon's multifaceted life. A significant portion of the film is dedicated to exploring the complex relationship between Napoleon and Josephine, leaving both aspects of his life feeling somewhat incomplete. Napoleon marks Ridley Scott's true return to the historical epic genre, inviting comparisons to his earlier successes like Gladiator. The film's mixed reviews, however, indicate that Scott faced challenges in striking the right balance between narrative depth and historical accuracy. Despite its flaws, the performances of the cast, particularly Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby, have been widely praised, elevating the film beyond its narrative limitations. With a staggering budget of $200 million, Napoleon set high expectations for box office success. Unfortunately, the film fell short of breaking even, earning only $219 million worldwide. The financial disappointment was a result of the film's inability to reach a broad audience during its theatrical run. Despite this setback, the upcoming streaming release on Apple TV Plus provides a second chance for Napoleon to find its audience and redeem itself in the eyes of viewers. The divisiveness surrounding Napoleon stems from the film's ambitious attempt to encapsulate the intricacies of Napoleon Bonaparte's life within a limited runtime. While some critics appreciate the focus on the emperor's personal life and relationships, others argue that it detracts from a more in-depth exploration of his military genius the incomplete portrayal of Napoleon's life, coupled with a somewhat polarizing narrative structure, contributed to the divisive opinions among audiences and critics alike. Despite its shortcomings in theaters, the streaming release on Apple TV Plus presents a new opportunity for Napoleon to find its audience and be appreciated for its merit. The convenience of streaming allows viewers to revisit the film or experience it for the first time, potentially reshaping its legacy beyond the initial theatrical reception. Apple's decision to release Napoleon on its platform highlights the increasing significance of streaming services in the film industry, offering a lifeline to films that may have struggled in traditional box office settings. As Ridley Scott's Napoleon prepares for its streaming debut on Apple TV+, the film stands at a crossroads, seeking redemption and wider recognition. While its theatrical release faced challenges and divided opinions, the streaming platform provides a fresh opportunity for audiences to engage with the epic tale of Napoleon Bonaparte. Whether the film will find a more receptive audience in the digital realm remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, Ridley Scott's ambitious historical epic is ready for a second act on the small screen.